Hey everybody, it's Timo here. So recently, recently Barbarian got slightly buffed, so I want to say big congrats to every Barbarian player. This perk in particular was supposed to make you lose a, lot, a little more physical damage reduction than you currently do. So it used to be 20%, now it's 15 While it may not seem a lot, it's actually quite decent because overall, if you press the rage and you go into the fight, pretty much your physical damage reduction not gonna go negative. And being in a negative physical damage reduction is actually quite horrible. So pretty much since um, if you want to have actually a decent time playing Barbarian, you've got to build up a lot of move speed. And uh, even though the rage got nerfed from 12 to 9% move speed, the uh, current build that we're gonna play with is actually gonna be pretty good now the thing is the problem is this is how you're supposed to play in a bar you gotta buy a stupid mount francesca access pretty much this class has become what i was kind of scared of like kiting meta is out of control and pretty much if you want to actually survive in this kiting meta casting warlock casting wizard casting like gameplay you actually have to become somewhat of a caster yourself and as the main source of magic damage is going to be francesca axis that is going to be boosted by the axe specialization so this is where the problem begins without this this class is not going to be as viable and pretty much this is more or less unfortunate reality of a barbarian you either chose to run with absolutely nothing and the Zweihander, like a skinny pete does for example with a very um i would say not the best build that i would recommend to um, people who are just starting out or who doesn't have 20,000 of experience that Skinny Pete has. So pretty much also you would, you, you're you not allowed to play with this build with the keyboard and the mouse. You would have to play with anything but that in order to make it work. The way the Skinny Pete does, he's gonna be playing with a blood exchange, but if you're interested in his build, well pretty much you're welcome to go and check his channel out. It's Skinny Pete TV either on YouTube or Twitch or somewhere else. Basically that's the guy's build and for today's build, which is gonna be more suitable for new player experience which not gonna take as much experience uh, but um, it's gonna take throwing axes and basically at the end of the day you're gonna be saving more money by buying the Francesca axes rather than uh, buying new gear sets after you're gonna lose over and over again with the build that would require you um, million of deaths and million of um, hours practice this build though this also takes a little bit of time of practice but at least you gotta keep your distance while throwing francesca axes the main aspect of this build is going to be the um, range control we're gonna control the fight with the rage and achilles strike pretty much the rage will increase our move speed even though the move speed got nerfed well it's still gonna give us nine percent which is quite decent but at the same time if you press it your physical damage reduction not gonna go as low so at least it's not as bad but still you're gonna get granted 10 strength and 10 vigor, which is pretty decent as for the rest i'm gonna keep my build simple and straightforward this is the usual build that i'm playing with this is the usual barbarian that uh, i'm so used to and i so love playing with it's gonna be the potion chugger with the crush with the robust there's some players who change the axe specialization to the berserker but the thing is i'm not the fun of a fully committing to a fight on a barbarian because in the current day and age it's way too easy to get third party so i like to stay at full hp and that's why when you stay at full hp the berserker not really gonna help you too much and because of the play style i'd rather recommit to a fight when i feel like it rather than fully committing which i'm gonna show in the uh, fights that are we going to occur in the moment so pretty much the for the build this is what we're gonna play in today's video every, each and every piece is going to be the items that i'm not gonna change throughout the whole video i decided that even if i get upgrades even if i get better pieces i'm gonna remain playing with the same build for the duration of the whole video to kind of keep the idea so in case if you try to replicate or maybe if you like you are feel free and you're very welcome to upgrade the gear all you want but uh, i gotta keep the theme of the video and i'm not gonna change even a single piece so no matter at what point you're gonna jump in the gear is going to remain the same because it's actually quite important for some people and um, i do wanna you know keep the idea of using the same gear set throughout the whole video 
So pretty much also I'm going to use the Horseman Axe and Lantern, which probably I'm not going to use it as much. This is going to be quite helpful against rogues and um, maybe against not very geared players. But uh, if you're going to encounter anyone who is half decent or he, who is actually quite geared, the Felon Axe is your best option. The Felon Axe is by far the best option for the bar. So pretty much not only it's going to let you hit faster, but it also combines way too well with the Axe specialization. Combine it together and you get a Felon Axe that can, can hit for 61 damage with also additional armor pen with which is an additional attribute that we have we don't have a perfect felon axe but it's decent enough if you want to get a perfect felon axe you aim for additional weapon damage 54 damage six health and uh, either armor pen or physical damage or physical power depends on you if you're going to be fighting pdr probably armor going to help you but um, in any other case the physical damage and physical power is going to be a better attribute on your felon axe as for the rest we're going to stockpile action speed action speed is the key action speed with the move speed we're going to have we're going to be at 322 move speed which is quite a lot this considerably to be a high move speed barbarian build which is actually a top tier build this build pretty much is a form of a counter to warlocks and um even though like the warlocks the warlocks got nerfed but did they really get nerfed to you know this like I, okay i don't basically the warlock is still there even though they got got it out they didn't got it got it out to lose their place from the pedestal from being s tier class warlock is still s tier class and just like the the current changes didn't change um you know the the placement Maybe on the budget gear, the Warlock wouldn't feel as oppressive, but in the high-end gear, the Warlock is still S tier class. So pretty much, yep, this is what we're gonna have. Probably have already mentioned each and every single aspect of today's build, and probably it's gonna be a perfect time and opportunity to hop directly into the game and clap some chicks. As of right now, we have the Frost Mountains, but we're gonna wait out a little bit um, to go into the Goblin Caves. And in the Goblin Caves is where, it's basically the map that I enjoyed the most. This is basically where I thrive and it's probably one of the best areas for new players to test out even though i'm not a newer player i'm a guy who played this game for 3000 hours i absolutely love playing the goblin caves and i genuinely hate playing in the ruins i found this place to be very stressful and quite disturbing even though i played this map hundreds of times if not more if not close to thousands of times even though i learned every single bus i genuinely dislike the ruins i like the frost mountains and i like goblin caves but goblin caves is my favorite map the frost mountains is the map that i play when i don't have much time and i like to speedrun by the way here i'm gonna link up a little video which gonna um direct you to the video where i speedrun this map where i acquired around a thousand gold per raid and i didn't spend more than um more than five minutes per game but as for now we got our goblin caves back this is exactly when we're gonna hop in and we're gonna clap some chicks and I'm going to explain you exactly how this build works in particular. Once again, it's going to be the Rage with Achilles Strike. This is the build that will allow you to control the fight, but you're going to lose um, stat check against majority. Against clerics, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to actually deal with. Against bards, you would actually have to get them off guard. Against warlocks, you actually have to be very close to deal with them. And uh, list moves on. Even though this build is good, this build actually requires a pretty high um, skill expression. So it's going to ta take time and practice and um, basically the difficulty of this um, skill is um comes with that you have to get your like players you're fighting with off guard just use every single trick there is in the book and basically if you do so this build will thrive pretty well anyway let's hop in the game and let's go clap some chicks all right seems like we have a lot of players here a lot of good people, by the way. Ooh, where is your barb? Please, your barb. Yo, I definitely want to fuck with this guy. Seems like he is uh, more or less of a clone of my previous build that I previously was playing. He was using Savage Roar. So the difference is he could actually stat check me, but with his build, he would struggle against Warlocks, Rangers, Rogues, and the rest, but still. Against Barbs, he's gonna actually have a quite a decent fair of advantage. But it's okay, listen. My build, with my build, you can actually kill Barbs like this. It's just the thing is, the moment we get advantage, we're not gonna let him slide. That's just it. We just need a tiny bit of advantage. And um, there's absolutely nothing this guy would be able to do, you know what I mean? I'm honestly not here to loot, but listen. A free box is a free box. <laughs> it's like... 
usually usually when i see like you know veteran pvp players they just constantly go rushing you know pvp spots i do enjoy it though farming some boxes and chests <laughs> in my videos we break boxes we break chests and we loot corpses both players and mobs <laughs> all right let's actually try and find someone all right usually in the middle map there is always someone so oh wait a second oh we got right behind us what the hell all right well basic idea of my build is cast spells and if it's naked person that naked person just instantly dies but if the person is half geared pretty much you will be able to run at quite a fast move speed and basically we just grant you opportunity and option and ability to kite players around this build in particular is extremely good against wizards warlocks oh wait who the fuck that is wait that's a geared barbarian by the way oh we have a warlock here all right pretty much i'm gonna explain you how to play against a very geared warlock i do believe this guy is quite geared i didn't expect a bunch of geared warlocks in the pre-lobby so pretty much when it comes to warlocks, you gotta make them feel comfortable. The moment they sleep, the moment they step up, the moment they get too close, that's when they die. You gotta make them feel comfortable, even if they tag you a couple of times with scores, it doesn't matter. You just gotta be very close. Make sure to land your Achilles strike and get very close. Here we doesn't wanna walk in the fire, nor do we wanna get in the trap. So let's see if you're gonna come close. We're just gonna heal up slowly. We are not in rush. This fight is gonna take more than 10 seconds. We almost have our cooldowns up. It's time to push. Run at him with the fist out. Try to dodge. Try to pretend like you care. Get close. Right now I'm spamming my Achilles strike. One hit, two hit, one more he dies. Third hit, death. He does have his phantom eyes and he ended up getting way too close. This build is very good against people who doesn't expect you to rush. Usually this guy would be playing against a very geared players. Basically, at some point, if you're not rushing, they may think that, uh, hey man, this guy is a pussy as bitch or something. Sure, you could call it this way, but I got called pussy 10 times and I farmed those players probably 20 times over. And basically... Right now, Barbarian is not the strongest class when it comes to open fight. And that's why if you don't use your brain as a barb, you're gonna get kited around like a little bitch. And you don't wanna get kited around, you gotta use your opportunity. By the way, speaking of, we have some players here. Oh wow, I wonder if he got hit. Let's see, let's try and fuck with him. Looks like he's kinda hurt. Fuck man, I wanna fight with that guy, not with this one. Alright, fuck this guy. I'm interested. Fuck me. I'm interested in fighting this barb. I'm not interested in fighting the fighter, but I will fight the fighter. But there's one thing I want to mention. That fighter would be able to one-shot me if he parries, so I have to be very careful. First thing first, let's get rid of the barb we have. Since we have a plenty of Francesca axes, the tech I'm gonna use is gonna be quite simple. I'm gonna do a jump, and mid-jump I'm gonna try to equip Francesca axe while try to throw them in the process. I'm gonna use Rage to get as close as possible. The best bet is to slow him down. We get close, we hit him three times. On the third hit, he usually dies. Well, that's basically what happened. Even though I ended up throwing like a dozen of Francesca at him, it doesn't change the fact that the barbarians who has a potion chugger, they do heal up pretty quick, so pretty much that's gonna mitigate the damage. The idea behind potion chugger and uh, throwing Francesca is that uh, basically, all you need is to get close. You don't need to do really any damage. Your best bet would be to get very close. By the way, speaking of the fighter that was quite fighting quite recently, probably should go and fight him first, and then I'll try to fuck with the barb right here. I don't think anyone will be able to find his body, which is just gonna be a like kind of. Oh, by the way, speaking of the fighter, we have a guy right here ready. Alright, seems like he did try to push. I have to be very, very careful with the long sword fighters. There is an um, opinion in the community that uh, long sword fighters, you know, can't really do much against Fallen Axe. If I land one hit, I die. Holy fucking shit, what the? I'm kidding, brother! No! <laughs> My mic doesn't work for some reason. Holy cow! If you'd land the crossbow shot, I would have died there. Yo, man, that ain't right. 
I didn't thought it was gonna be that fucking bad. Holy shit, I even tried to dodge. Wait, did he body shot me all the way to like fucking 20 health? Holy shit. Yo, I have to be super fucking careful. Yo, I didn't expect that I would be so low health just from one hit alone. Oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> No, I still want to try to fight him, don't get me wrong, but that shit was just ridiculous. Like, you know, I was fucking kind of in educational mod, but now, holy fuck, I'm in a terrified mod. Right, basically, um, right. Use blue pot. Try to aim somewhere where he wouldn't be able to parry. Aim at the head, hit in the body, hit in, like, hit in the body or arms while pretending that you're about to hit somewhere else. Repeat the process. Okay, body shot. We wait. Headshot, clean headshot, body shot. We wait. Body shot, he's low. Headshot, he dies. Well, that worked out. Pretty much each and every step I did against him, I tried to aim and let him aim directly at my axe and then the very last moment I either try to bypass his parry by tilting my head down or trying to hit his head when he would clearly not expect a headshot. Basically when the guy can't see an axe it's actually a lot harder to parry. So make sure you don't hit the freaking longsword in case if that's gonna happen you will end up at a death sentence. One shot before dying, not gonna make you happy, so make sure you don't hit the longsword. If you do, you are likely to end up dying, because also, remember, fighters have a ability to use bows and crossbows. A crossbow shot right there in that moment, in that opportunity, would get me killed. Just because he missed it, didn't change the fact that he had an opportunity to kill me right there and then. I want to use the lever and get the fuck in the elevator. I don't want to deal with the centipede, honestly. In this game, we're not farming PvE, we're only farming players. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try to keep it until the end of the game, like, just focus on the PvP rather than PvE. This is one of little tricks, especially if you want to get rid of the centipedes. Because, like, for me to kill them, it's gonna take, like, 20 plus seconds. Oh, holy cow, this guy is kind of good, though. Right, well, let's try and fit in as much cheese as he has. Last time I checked, the copper light tunic didn't really go for too much, so I'm not really sure if I want to take it. Gloves goes first, because they don't really have many gloves. Right, Felnax, for sure. We gotta get some boots. Additional moose pit always comes handy, though sluice is really good. Mm, that tunic doesn't really have any good stats, but the cloak does. So, I am guess I'm gonna leave the... Tuni can get the cloak, probably. Don't want to take pods because they're quite expensive and uh, I don't really have enough. If this guy ends up adding me after the game, I'm gonna give him his stuff back. He's a fellow barb, he's playing with a very similar build to mine. And, like, listen, I like other barbs and I'll try to encourage other, like, you know, players playing barb. Even though barb isn't in the best state and currently, currently, like, competitive players are not gonna give you, you know, that many options. Your best bet as a barb to win a fight is to catch someone off guard. But, um, if you wanna actually, like, you know, win and, you know, just, like, play very openly, barb probably isn't it. Like, they're better class for it. Even fighter right now is just much better because, like, you know, the sprint is back and basically high A tier build with the rondel is gonna be, um, you know, even higher up right now. Like, it's really gonna be fucking good. Like, really freaking good. Probably I'm gonna play with the fighter with the sprint. I do want to check, though, what the guy has. Because I feel like fighter with a sprint is gonna be such a good freaking build. But as for now, let's keep focus on Barbarian. Because, you know, it's gonna be idea for another fighter video. <laughs> I don't usually play majority of the stuff other than the fighter, but there's that one build that I've probably shown already a couple of times, which I consider to be an absolute ass tier. You know, the one with the Rondel, Buckler, and Royal Bow. It's been ass tier for half a year, it's still ass tier. And basically, you know, developers didn't bother fixing it, because I don't think developers do play this game long enough. 
or do you play the game in particular and consider all the patches they come up with? Alright, well, anyway, let's just go take a quick extract and move directly into the next game. Alright, so I've been playing for five high roller games and there is like literally no PvP. I'm still gonna be playing, you know, high roller PvP so that uh, you'd get to see my struggle, you'd get to see all the PvPs. But I genuinely think Normals is just uh, such a better place for PvP. So pretty much the only person that I've seen in this lobby was a very geared red wizard. Or a warlock, I don't remember exactly what it is. And pretty much this is where I encountered him, in the trolls room. First step when you see the wizard. Well, with the new patch, we got a little buff to the um, Ignite Bonk Wizard. So pretty much the stuff got slightly stronger, and basically that is it. I'm gonna kite around and I'm gonna mess around the doorway for as long as possible. I gotta make sure that he wastes as many abilities as he can. And pretty much I'm gonna press the W key. The moment you press W key, you gotta make sure you get close. Basically, the main idea about Barbarian is that you gotta be um, certain that you will be able to make a kill at the right time. And if you don't, well, you will die. So, here, well, he threw a bunch of uh, um, fireballs, so he was trying to magic missile me. That is not exactly what I want to happen. So, pretty much, I'm gonna wait for Bear until he gets closer to the doorway, and that's when I gotta push him. This is the moment where he genuinely fucked up, and... I don't even know what to tell you, man. He was not supposed to get that close to a doorway, but he did. There's one thing that I noticed. He doesn't have too much gear. Maybe only a couple of thousand. Like, that's just old. Maybe like two and a half to three thousand gold. But, I mean, that's right for a game. You know what I mean? Alright, so in this video, I want to show you the problem when you're gonna encounter, especially when you're playing on the bar against the fighters. The fighter is your direct counter, so that's why you don't want to waste um, too much effort trying to fight fighters. Never is a good idea whether you're using a shield or not. So pretty much this guy is direct counter to me. And pretty much because I don't have the uh, um, Savage or it's a horrible idea to fight him in the first place. But I just want to showcase, you know, um, all the effort and struggles that you would have to go through. So pretty much the one thing that I did is I made him lose the second win, which is the first step. But the problem is, even though he used the second win, it's actually not gonna be that easy to kill him, like, at all. He's my direct counter. Also, there's one thing I wanna mention, the guy is talking shit. Don't listen to people when you need to back up, back up, don't bother. Right now, I know for a fact this guy is more than half HP, and basically he's still my counter if I get hit a couple of times like pretty much he still will be able to out trade me and um right now with the potion of blue potion he still have advantage over me so the problem is i can't afford to even fight him really 200. holy fuck can you shut the fuck up it's all right so gun. pretty much i told it's him that the fight is a counter but this delusional fucking moron kept talking shit. Right I do gotta oh, give him a credit, he absolutely yeah. mentally fucked me with his warp. His annoying voice really triggered the absolute living fuck out of me. And this rat ended up going back into the hole he fucking came from. Quite geared. What is this, fighter? <laughs> a fighter in the full cobble gear. Oh yeah, that's like 60 plus PDR guy. Interesting. Oh, by the way, I inspected this guy in the lobby. He has a very good necklace. I love lobby. I love ability to inspect people. But at the same time, I honestly think it should be removed. Because, um, I feel like it's kind of unfair in a way. But it doesn't change the fact that this is part of the game and uh, basically you should use everything you have at your exposure. So, checking for what people have in the lobby. Wow, he actually died like that. He gave me the power of sacrifice. Not a curse, but power sacrifice. Interesting. Sure, <laughs> I'll take that. Let's see if that's actually the guy. Where the fuck is he? Oh, here we go. Copium log. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. A luck ring. Okay. Oh, look at the necklace. Oh, armor pen, health, and true fist. Oh boy. Holy cow, man. That's like a thousand at least. 
this guy, even though he isn't geared, but he has like a 1500 gold in his inventory, straight up. Bro. Holy cow, man, chill. Okay, I'm getting shot from each angle. Unacceptable. Oh. Alright. What the fuck is that? Oh, ha. <laughs> Why would he drop a red pod? That's the geared guy, that's the geared. Wow, that's actually gonna be interesting. Yo, I'm down to fight the guy. Alright. Oh, I'm already getting cocked. It's okay, though. We got this. Mm. Alright, well, how do I kill him? I gotta think. He has the parry shield. The parry shield could uh, actually do quite a lot of damage. Probably should kill the mob first, and then probably should try and push him and see how far I would be able to get. I brought a lot of Francesca axes with me, so I brought just about enough Francesca for one decent fight. Right now, you really do need to rely on the source of branch damage. That's just the reality of the game that we live in. Barbarian doesn't really have much range weapon, but he could bring as much Francesca axes as you have space in your inventory. And you gotta use it, especially if you're trying to play competitively in a non-competitive game. <laughs> no, no, this game is actually getting quite competitive, especially in High Roller. People are getting better at it, and holy cow. Basically, if you get to encounter any veteran player who played this game... Oh, holy fuck. Yo, what the fuck? Where this guy came from? Wow. Why do you need to fucking... Hey, man, why do you need to third party? Holy fuck. Alright, this is actually attack. When you speak to people in the VoIP, sometimes they let you go. But I'm gonna kill this guy. He fucking ruined my hunt. Unacceptable. Also, I was winning that fight so hard. Holy cow. 60% PDR, full cobalt gear guy. Very cool drip. Damn, bro. God knows where he went. He could be literally anywhere at this point. Let's check the right, right above. Nope, not here. <sighs> it's okay. Maybe we'll come across him again. You know. I got a little bit of practice down against the fighter, but this guy didn't use the shield. There's some people who literally... um. Oh, this guy is on me. Right, brother, your time has come. Damn, that's actually hurt quite a bit. This is where I heard the fire last time. I do believe he's gotta be somewhere here. He's literally fucking camping the door. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> well, the guy is kinda scared of me, I feel like. Well, I mean, we did the first step. We put fear into this guy. Like, actually, I feel like. Okay, let's use another one. Let's push him. Yeah, I like in this. <laughs> Good fight, brother. Not gonna lie, I kind of threw there at the end. Because I didn't need to use my Q and E, I should have just kept going, but I decided to cast spells and just let him hit me a couple of times. Oh yeah, this guy is fucking cheesy. This guy got a full copper min build, you know, you gotta respect him. I'm gonna try to feed as much as he has. I'm not gonna give him his stuff back. Because <laughs> uh, this is the stuff I really enjoy playing with. You know, bunch of meme gear. And holy cow, bro. He actually has some really expensive stuff. Yo, bro! Do you even know how expensive those spents are? That's our at least 1500 golden market. 2 agility, 2% 2 physical damage bonus. Yo, agility and physical power on wonder. I feel like this was gonna be quite expensive. Mm, anyway. Damn, bro. Got a lot of cheese. I guess, fuck that, I'm gonna throw that. Holy cow, what a good fight. Actually makes me excited. Alright, we have a little warlock here. Well, that's what's gonna happen to a warlock, my friend. Whether you- Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. 
That ain't right. <laughs> oh no. I thought I would hit him a couple of times at least. Holy cow. I just heard a guy to my left, so gotta be careful here. Wait a second, why the fuck did I bring that knife with me? <laughs> oh yo, that's the geared guy. Hello, my love. Okay. One buddy. Headshot. He almost fucked me, by the way. He headshotted me. Wow, that was fucking terrifying, bro. I thought it would be having a lot more HP than I actually do. God damn! Alright, brother barbarian. Much love, my homie. I'm gonna take all the cheese, brother. With all due respect, this belongs to me now. But if he come across, I'm gonna give him his stuff back, because this... Look at this guy's drip, you know, you literally just gotta respect him just because of the drip he's wearing. It's like going to the gym in a black suit and a white t-shirt. This is what it feels like, you know, fighting this guy. <laughs> That's what I kinda do in this game though, just always prioritizing the trip over the stats. Wow, brother, this is so freaking expensive. That's such a good piece. Alright, well... Six health, three physical power. Are you freaking serious? God damn, bro, that's just way better than what I have, by the way. Wigger plus action. Yo, that's better than what I have. Uh, that just said, straight up, period, big massive upgrade. I heard something. Not sure what it is. Dagger or something? That's gotta be a rogue, I guess. Okay, don't miss. Alright. Ah, fuck. I wish I had joy. Oh no, the fucking machine gun. Right in the face, bro. Look at that. Oh shit, another one. Oh no. Oh no. I just witnessed a murder straight up in game. Wow, this is ridiculous. This is actually fucking ridiculous. The guy got melted down by a machine gun fucking withered mage. That mob is so fucking evil. I lost extremely expensive kit to this guy, like to this fucking mob. Like when I was playing with a full gore. By the time I really didn't care too much, I almost got it for free from killing players and I got it the exact same way. Poor fella, man. <laughs> well, that's the life of a rogue, you know what I mean? But oh well. Oh yo, he was doing his hero to hero, it seems like. Poor guy. God damn. Alright, I guess fuck it. Let's go extract. What there's there left to do, you know what I mean? Looks like there's no one here. What the fuck? Oh, that's the throw, by the way. He's like one shot. Maybe not. Not with a blue pot. Holy cow, he almost killed me, by the way. Interesting. Where the fuck he came from, bro? Wait a second. You can move while being completely in invisible? Wait, why? Why would they bring that shit back? What the hell? <laughs> I completely did not expect it, nor did I hear any fucking sound at all. Get the fuck back into the hole you came from. Wow, that was so fucking scary, by the way. That landmine rogue fucking almost pinned me on his dick. And by the way, this guy is actually geared. But it's... Listen, it's understandable. This is how the way the class works. It intend to landmine you, but I just completely disagree that the rogue is supposed to be, you know, this fucking dangerous. This much of a threat, you know? Because, like, it's very, very unhealthy for the game to have a class that will... that could one-tap you without a, you know an option to fight back. That's really fucking unhealthy mechanic. Yo, that's Modex! Yo, that's my homeboy! <laughs> no shot, bro, that makes me happy, kinda. Right after the game, the brother barbarian edited me and I offered him to give him some cheese back. That's the guy in the copper light gear and I do respect his drip, so I chose to give him, um, you know, some of his stuff back. Well, I offered him the stuff for free, but he probably thought that I was um, trying to sell it to him. Nah, nah, nah. I don't need gold. 
All right, we have a Bart here. And pretty much in this clip, I want to showcase how you can deal with Barts. Pretty much the idea is very simple. Is one, don't fight him until you have a blue pot. Two, make sure that you get the Bart off guard. Don't push him as is. That's why I have a crush. I don't use Berserker because I try to play with them. I try to make them think that I'm just fucking losing my mind while trying to fight them. But in reality, this stride is gonna work when you hit the side of the door. They may think you can't break the door and you're hitting the door instead. This is a silly trick, but a fucking mind game. It straight up mind fucks people who are you fighting with. It works especially well against uh, bards and pretty much anyone who has range. I'm just gonna wait out until he runs out of buffs. Yes, this may be silly. This, yes, this may be kind of not the way the bard should be playing but remember bard isn't the bard the way it's intended to be currently it's one of the weakest classes and basically if i try to get really close until he got uh, to the doorway i just simply won't be able to do nothing about him he'll kite me like a bitch and i will die that's just definitely not something um i want to happen that's why i'm just gonna try to avoid and play with him for as long as possible pretty much Right now, I let him hit me. I'm gonna heal up. Pretty much, he's gonna run out of patience pretty fast. And, uh, well, that's gonna be it. Very soon, he's gonna pull his fucking stuff out and gonna try playing songs. And when you do this, that's when you're gonna strike. Perfect time, perfect opportunity. He didn't expect this. I'm gonna throw Francesca X. One body shot, another body shot, and one more gonna get the job done. Pretty much he dies in 3 hits, and that's how I was able to acquire a quite an expensive kit for Bard. This guy had a 130 health, 35 PDR kit with all true damage with a decent chunk of regular interaction speed. Even though his whole kit was uh, purple and blue, his kit is still quite expensive. So pretty much this is one of the little tricks that you can learn and try to implement into your games or playstyle. Pretty much, this is a little trick will make you a good amount of gold. Play with the people you're fighting with, use the power of a crush, get them off guard. This shit works, trust me. Alright, so in this game there was only one very geared player and that is the cleric. So, there's one thing that I know about clerics is um, they're basically not affected because of the POE, protection from evil, so they don't really tend to get affected by the debuffs. If I have Achilles, it doesn't matter because it's just gonna straight up disappear within a matter of seconds. The problem with the PoE is basically just makes you kind of invincible to debuffs. And um, the thing is, when you land the hit, not only you're gonna slow down the person with the um, Achilles, but also you're gonna slow down the person with hit on impact. And that is why the PoE is actually really freaking brutal, because it doesn't feel at all like he's getting slowed down. Like it doesn't slow him down even for a mere second. I've been trying to catch up to him for a solid couple of minutes, and um, at some point I just straight up lost him. He just disappeared, because um, I lost the track of him. The PoE on a cleric is really good, and basically if you're playing as a cleric, you should use this. The Cleric is the direct counter to Barbarian. A decent Cleric with any PDR, with um, Judgment, Smite, Divine Protection, does not matter, counters Barb directly to fucking ground. Killing him would be as hard as killing... Harder than killing a Warlock, I would say. Harder than killing Bard. Cleric is the direct biggest counter to Barb, when especially, especially when it comes to being a high-geared Bard against a high-geared Cleric. In this scenario, you do not want to fight Clerics at all, but I do want to fight just to showcase how much of a drastically fucking unenjoyable experience this is. I decided to wait the guy in the troll's room up until the point he ended up coming here. Pretty much the first thing you want to do is you want to use the blue pot of a purple potion. So pretty much it's going to save you from the judgment. At least it's going to be very effective. Since I have the potion chugger, pretty much the one purple pot is going to directly mitigate. But it doesn't change the fact that even then he still is capable of just directly stat checking me. So even if I want to fight him, I'll have to make sure that I have everything on and basically that's the only way. 
I gotta get him off guard and get a couple of free hits before I wanna fully commit. That's my only possible way to get him. If I don't do it, if I do it some other way around, they're just literally impossible to get him. Very soon he's gonna have judgment. He actually did right now. I gave him a free hit, which just allowed me to be able to keep kiting him. He stepped in a trap. I land a headshot with this fucking another axe. Well, it wasn't a headshot. But it doesn't change the fact that after I hit him with Achilles strike, he is still just unbothered. He's gonna jump down, he's gonna heal up, and the chase continues. Basically, we're gonna continue the fight up until the point where he kind of gets stuck behind the mob. So I get close, and that's when he can't get out. He got fucking directly blasted in the face. And that's the only way I was able to kill this guy. Well, welcome to Dark and Darker, guys. If uh, people say that Barbarians stand a chance against a cleric, against, you know, a good barbarian against a good cleric, this is the experience right there from them. A support class literally doesn't give a chance to a fucking barb. But that's just the reality and that's just the stuff that you need to understand and accept, especially when it comes to fighting. When it comes to geared lobby, you know, when it comes to fighting geared players, this is the part of the experience you're gonna encounter. This is something that you would have to deal with and you need to understand the powers of the specific classes and what they have to offer. So this is why you have to be extremely careful, especially when you're playing on a barb against clerics, against fighters. Those are the two classes that just could absolutely spin you. It's because like straight up, your biggest, strongest part about the barb is the ability to hit hard in the close range. But what if you get into the fight and you don't really hit for any damage? That's when your class becomes miserable. So pretty much that's why fighting squishy targets on a barb is your best bet. The PDR isn't the ideal until you build PDR. And if you build PDR on the barb, you won't be able to deal with the squishy targets. You will become an absolute chunk of meat that wouldn't be able to move fast enough and would be get kite around by every single class there is in the game. Which can kite. So the question is, do you want to build PDR and be able to deal I mean, have a potential chance to deal with the clerics and the uh, PDR barbs or fighters, but at the same time you will die to any other class, or you want to be fast and be able to deal with squishy targets. This is the question for the community. Answer in the comments down below. I saw it. Who said that? That was me. You know this nice, friendly rogue over here. Hello. I'm I'm friendly. Trust me. I just do bosses and make some bread. I don't like killing people. I, I want I want to trust you, but there's something in your voice that sounds fa holy fuck. We got a ruby silver warlock and a copper light barbarian. This is a dangerous guy. Down. Look at this. This guy has a whole armory with the Franciscas. What the? What fuck? do you mean, brother? I barely have yeah, any. In fact, I only brought a couple. You know, just in case for self defense. Yo, did you come to shit on us? No, I came actually. Like I'm um, PVE farming. I'm trying to level up my character right now. And basically, you know, I'm trying to reach level oh, 20 as soon as possible. Perks, that that's a lie. Demo? That's straight up lie. Demo? That sounds like Demo. Oh, sorry. That sounds like Demo. Wait, dude. that does sound that like, like Demo. Demo. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I do sound like Demo. No, 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 that's not Demo. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Hey, Warlock. Demo. Hey, hey, Rogue, Rogue, come over here. Rogue and Warlock, come over here real quick. I'm listening. Yo, stay over there, Demo. Know some hey, business. Come over here, Warlock. Come over here. We need you. It's important. Listen, we should kill the barbarian. Yeah, that guy's gonna shit on all of you. us. I'll hate to yeah. ignite you when you... Alright, I'm not sure if they know, but I could clearly hear them. And if they decide to team up, I'm going to find someone that I'm gonna team up with. And I'm gonna use that person as a form of leverage to be, you know, to make a fair 2v2. But if that's gonna be 1v1, sure be it. So first thing first, we gotta find someone to team up with. Someone turned all the fucking lights off, holy shit. Some psycho. Maybe that's my chance to find a friend. Yo, yo, chill, 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 chill. Listen, listen. There is two teamers in the lobby. I need your help to kill them. You down to help me? I give you my pinky promise I'm not gonna attack you. Okay? I'm Demo, by the way, so I keep my word. Alright, brother. Whatever there is, you take everything. I literally give you every single piece. Damn. Holy fuck. Let me... Oh, wait. They're already here by the door. Holy fuck. 
Demo, please. Demo, please. Demo, please. There's, there. there's, there's nothing there. could be done. Look out, there's a barb. Huh? A row. Oh, so bad. I'm sorry, but listen, brother. I'm sorry, brother. This has to happen. This has to happen. Nah, I'm kidding. Go ahead, loot everything. I don't care. Hey, rogue. Hey, whatever there is. Hey, hey. There is this guy. There is this guy. You can loot him. Go ahead, take all his stuff. This guy has no gear, has no level. Also, he does have a mic. <laughs> I want to feed him some gear and make his day a little. All right, with this, the video gonna come to an end. Pretty much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about this build, if this build treats you well. I'm gonna be honest, I had quite a decent amount of fun playing with this build and I honestly think this is one of the best builds, especially when it comes to fighting warlocks, rangers, rogues and squishy targets such as wizards. But anyway, it's Demo, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.